Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as always, I thank you very much for everything you do for the channel. It means a ton to me. I think of you every day and send you high vibrational energy as we are a collective here. I can't do this without you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I love tarot. It's sacred divination to me. I take it seriously. Now, of course, um, it's it's in terms of giving us advice, it can give us guidance, but we never live our, our lives. We still have free will, okay, everyone? So don't forget that. That's one of those fun parts of being here. And if a reading doesn't resonate, don't ever try to make it fit. Just come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You could watch other parts of your chart, or on Mondays, the style is different every week of the reading. I did do a next four-month uh, predictive reading, if you haven't seen that yet. And if you like tarot and you like this channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? What messages do you have for Aries? Okay. We'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. All right, so you've got here the Page of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, Death, Justice, that's interesting, and the Hangman. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, it's, it's an interesting... They're not quite in order, but they they are, when you look at this, you have 11, 12, 13, okay? So for somebody here, I hear um, 1, 2, 3 as well. I don't know why. I'm going to put them in order just so that we can see. That's pretty cool when you have things like this because you've got 78 cards here. These tell a story, and it's going to be important. It's all about changing your perspective here. So we'll get to this in just a moment here. Actually, I think it was like this. Um, so they're almost in the reverse. Um, well, okay. Anyway, so you have here Scorpio, Libra. I got very fascinated with that for a moment. <laughs> You've got, um, a lot of earth here. So I do feel like at first, you know, when the, the first couple of playful energies came out, I thought, wow, Aries is going to be having a fun time. There's some upliftment here. There's some fun things. And maybe that changes your perspective on something. Cause I definitely see you or another person changing their mind about what seems to be an important situation down here, maybe a matter of the heart. You have here a marriage card, but you also have, with the Page of Cups, it's manifesting somebody. It is, you know, it is a law of attraction card. So for some of you, this can be the return of the ex. It can be a chance encounter with them if it was a very serious relationship. Um, but it may be also, too, just those synchronicities aligning and you're in the right place at the right time. And here's somebody a lot of fun to hang out with. And I do see it getting to be more, though, too. Um, with this, too, though, in terms of work, I definitely see you bringing in money. And that may be part of this, where you have the money to get out and do fun things and go have experiences. Because isn't that why we're here, to experience this life? And so this gives you the freedom. I mean, that really is why people want money. It's the freedom to go out and do things with it. So the 1111 card is here too. We have not only the synchronicities of those major arcana, but you also have this as well. And it is a marriage card. It's a card that tells you you are on the right path here. You're getting into a place where you're going to feel more freedom, more happiness. Just It's like a more, um, not just easygoing, but like free-spirited energy. Okay, there's a free-spiritedness in this where you're being relieved of something if you've had something hanging on you. And, um, you know, I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but I'm going to. I have a friend that I recently found out is very into near-death experiences. I had no idea. I've known this person a long time. Anyway, and so I went back through some of my Raymond Moody, you know, videos and things like that, and Evan Alexander and all the NDE people. And I keep thinking about that life review, you know that? And it's like, it's kind of like that in some ways to me. I don't, it just, there's something about that, like looking back at your life and really, you know, you don't have to have an NDE to do this, but to find more joy on the journey, not be stuck in. And, you know, that's the other thing when I think about that life review. It's like, too, for people that have really hurt other people, they're going to have some pretty painful experiences 
at that, you know, at that juncture. But either way, I do feel like for you, there's uplift to me here. Now, the Two of Pentacles, I do feel like you got a little bit of a balancing situation here. And it does feel like making sure that you're not just all play, that there's work here too. And I feel like you're committed to work. Aries is a wonderfully loyal employee. You're creative. You're fearless. You're not afraid to deal with salty customers and take on the stuff that nobody else wants to do or is afraid to do it. And so I feel like it's partially, you know, keeping your keeping up on that grind, but also having some fun. So especially those of you that have some kind of a new ambition going on with this Eight of Pentacles, you don't let up with that. You know, it's like you get your momentum, but you also keep your balance too. So the Eight of Pentacles is all about being laser focused on something. And if it's money for you, the money comes in. This is putting in the time, but you get the reward as well. Now, in terms of a relationship, because you do have a commitment here, um, it, it also will be about putting attention in. If you had a breakup because somebody was too busy with work and other things, or maybe it just wasn't the right timing, you just didn't wasn't in you or the other person to be really committed, this is about keeping commitments. You know, it's that kind of energy too, where you don't show up late to things. You are, you know, you pay all your bills on time. Everything in your life is very efficient. It's like very well organized. It's like a well-oiled machine. And two, for any of you with physical health goals, you're doing them. You've got it here and you've got it here too with this Ace of Pentacles. Especially if you've had, maybe you had a little bit of a chink in the armor. You know, you go to one of those gyms where they force you on a, you know, full body calibration scale and you go, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I've been working out like a demon. I've been eating right. What in the hell's happening here? You know, you get that second wind and you go, it's okay, I've got this. And you keep going with anything like that. But it is a new door that opens long-term stability here. So again, with the money thing, I feel like you've got nice money aspects for a long time to come. Is the tarot, is, like we talked about, a sacred divination. There's really no human timeline. And especially if you're the one that called in this NDE stuff, because I don't talk about that stuff in readings normally. If that was you, you know we don't have a timeline. This is just, it's like this reality that isn't really a reality, right? And so anyway, we'll get off of that. But it is long term, okay? It's like you have smooth sailing for a while. And I love to see death. Any Anytime this shows up, it's a big transition. It's transforming your life. It's like that next chapter where you go through it in a place of being even more in alignment of who you really are. And again, we talked about that life review, okay? This is an interesting card because I wasn't even really thinking about this when I was talking about that. Um, but there is a connection. You know, you've got the king on the ground who's dying, right? And all of his family's grieving. But I, I point, I've been pointing this out lately because it seems important. You look at the scale of death and his horse over those bodies. He's gigantic. He's, you know, three times their size. It's your higher self. It's higher guidance telling you to let go, especially if you have some kind of a, you know, if you have a negative feeling about something, maybe you just make a living amends. It doesn't mean you need to go back and have a face-to-face -face with anybody, but maybe there's something about this or maybe somebody did it to you. And that's the biggest takeaway is that we're here to love, you know, so if there's something that you've got, you know, a gut punch over, somebody did something and it's been hard to let it go, they tell you again to let go of it, let go and receive here, Aries. So you have with this, you've got justice and justice is a card of really being your true self, you know, with the death card. It's the be new beginning. It's the dawn of a new day. It's the new Aries, even though it's Libra energy. It is a card of integrity, of worth, of value, and of infinite knowledge. And so with this, if there's any kind of a decision going on here, it does go in your favor. But I almost feel like you have a relationship that brings in more fun and enthusiasm too. And this gives you sort of that... Um, closing the chapter on something else to begin a new chapter that's much more uplifting and not really being available to people who aren't going to be on that uplifted journey with you. It's just not a match for you and that's okay. Sometimes we just let them go. Um, and that's, that's part of the, you know, life cycle here. So we have here the hanged man, and this is all about changing your perspective. And so for some of you, you get information and it really does change your perspective. It allows you to release some old 
hang ups that have just kind of been hanging on too long. Um, you know, his mind is illuminated by the divine. And so it's really seeing things through the eyes of source. It's seeing infinite potential. It's let go or be dragged, I say sometimes, but really it's surrender to win. This is a card of surrender and not needing to be, you know, when we say, would you rather be right or be happy? You're happy being like this. And so it really is that moving into that place of eternal happiness, being in a relationship that looks very fun and uplifting. So if it was a job that made you bitter or an ex or whatever, you're moving forward. And I also feel like the money helps with this too. Whatever money you have coming in, it's, you know, let's face it, it's easy to be happy when we know that the heat and the lights are staying on. It's a lot easier to be happy when we know, um, you know, we have money for food and some fun and, you know, whatever else it is for you. Whatever it is that turns your crank. And um, it's really, though, I, I like to see these kinds of energies showing up because it's definitely a positive turn for you. It's like a turn in your favor and really walking free of something. All right. So you've got the situation will improve. Well, you definitely, you've got a very positive reading in general, um, but you know, just those three major arcana could even be a full reading on their own. Listen to your intuition. So if it's, you know, get something where you say, I just want to stop thinking about that because you know it brings you down. It's your, your higher self trying to guide you. Be assertive, they say. So again, with anything work-related or in the physical body, stay on it. You've got perfect timing. And you've got, now this, I, I don't mind this. There's something better. So whenever we ask, because that's half the the issue is not asking. Whenever we ask, we say this or something better. And I won't get into this too long, but I just heard of somebody who didn't get, they wanted a lease on a business. They didn't get it. And then COVID hit and all those businesses in that same area went under and they went, oh God, that spared me. So we always say this or something better. And so you never know what will happen here, but good things are coming for you, Aries. I love you and I'll be back again soon.